Chicago police say phone scams are on the rise. Thieves getting away with hundreds of thousands of dollars. The elderly picking up the phone, but on the other end, no friend. You would call it the grandparent scam. They get a call that, uh, you know, a family member or a, grand, a grandson or a granddaughter is in trouble. Sergeant Timothy Kosinski is leading the investigation into an alarming spike in scam calls. And he says the saddest part is oftentimes the targets are repeat victims. We're seeing large amounts of money that the senior citizens are, are losing in these scams. You know, they, they, they want to they wanna help their family. They want to, you know, make their financial position better. Charles Branch of Bolingbrook has gotten two of those calls in the last month. Yeah, I got a phone call and uh, they said, hey, Grandpa. And I, I don't rem the, the voice didn't sound familiar. And I said, who is this? And he hesitated. I said, what's your name? He said, John. I don't have any grandchildren named John. Fortunately, Branch didn't fall for it, but many are. Scammers nabbing 150,000 already in 2017. William Cressy of Governor State University is a fraud expert who's seen the worst of these cases. Well, there are a number of reasons why fraudsters target senior citizens. One is, is that they often have funds available because they've been saving it up all their lives. And that when they hear a family member in trouble, they respond accordingly. But why are these thieves not getting caught? The major challenge for police? The fraudsters aren't even in Chicago. There's programs that mask the number and it, it could be coming from out of the country. It could be coming, it could be coming somewhere in, in, in the country, but it's definitely not here in Chicago for the most part. So it's hard to track down and it's hard to find out where that call came from. But perhaps an even bigger reason, many phone scam thefts aren't being reported to authorities. That's what William Cressy's research found. The reason that they don't report the crime is really sad. It's because of their families. Seniors are very afraid that if they report a crime and their family finds out about it, their family's going to think that they're no longer competent to handle their affairs. With the holidays approaching, Cressy says there's one thing Chicago area families should do. Take the time to, to talk to the seniors in your family and to tell them, look, we understand that you being a senior citizen, you are targeted by the bad guys out there. There are fraudsters that are gonna come after you. But please understand, if anything like that happens, feel free to give us a call. This would be the most important thing that America's families can do to stop the scourge of senior citizen fraud.